Alright, we're inside now. Mike is going to be taking care of us. Mike, How you doing, man? absolute pleasure meeting you. Right. 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 Really looking forward to getting out there oh, on the yeah. line. Right. We'll, we'll get you in the vault, go over some weapon systems, take a couple, and then we'll get you on the range once we guns, okay? Right on, let's get awesome. to it. Go ahead and follow me. Gentlemen, how you doing? Yes. Good, you're sorry. Right on. So this is our main armor and ammo area. Yes, we're going to be sir. walking into the vault now. Um, this is where all our, our main weapon systems are held. Um, all of our stock will rotate through. Yep. Uh, we usually do it on a weekly basis. It just depends on um, the round count we put the weapons through. Uh, and then we cycle. Now we can we can baby it. Excellent. Excellent. So this is our main holding area for most of our weapons that we cycle through on the range. Yeah. The uh, our pride is right here though. If you look off to your right hand side. Oh yeah. Vault, oh, so. I, I, I remember I remember this place. This is the place I want you to lock me and leave me here. I, you know what? Every time I come here, I see something new that I want to shoot. There's a. It's a, it's a treasure trove of, of, of goodies. I mean, you have everything from World War One all the way up. Yeah. Uh, modern weapon systems and uh, to be able to get behind them and not see them on a wall or in a yeah. museum or in a magazine, it's 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 unheard of. Just looking around the room, I mean, of course the minigun, fan favorite, everybody loves that thing. Stens and, uh, you know, Swedish Ks and oh my god. But, I mean, you know, you, you got ammo for that uh, that Kurtz round. You got some of those in here. Uh, I would really, I would really like that. I'm sure our, our sure our audience would enjoy that too. We used to be able to own these in Canada. Uh, we're confined to single shot versions of these guns now. Uh, once upon a time, I had an opportunity to buy one for 6,600 bucks, and I passed. And I really regret not getting one and at least trying it out. Mm, before. That hurts. That yeah. Hurts. Do you have something that is full on 308? You know, maybe an HK G3 type system. Or how about I? How about I score you away? You want to? want to go a little modern? Yeah. We, we got, what do you got for me, Mike? You want to? You want to dabble with the scar heavy? Ooh, yeah. You know what? How's that sound? Uh, Dave, Dave, dabble Dave, with scar heavy. Dave, 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 Dave over there is nodding his head uh, with a lot of enthusiasm. So I'm going to jump on that. All absolutely. right. Good. Absolutely. I'm getting that warm fuzzy feel, right, Mike. Right. <laughs> right on. All right. Let's get to it. All right. Let's get y'all set up. Okay. Right on. Let's go through this. You know, the safety protocol here is awesome. I see a lot of smiling faces, a lot of camera phones being held up. Uh, this is definitely the place to enjoy a full auto experience. Right or left hand? I'm right handed. Okay, so this is an open bolt platform, okay? This is a German weapon system. Nice and tight in the shoulder. It's gonna be chin, not cheek, just because I hide over bore. Again, it's an automatic platform, so three to four to five. Have some fun, okay? Excellent. You can dump it if you want. That is so Wow, ever control. Nice slow release. Wow. We're 80 years old and it still smells butter. And you know what? It's a real piece of history. Not very heavy either for no, a moment. No, no, you know, I expected it to be heavier. It's actually not. Very Did you hear that? <laughs> what is that? I want to say that's the 60. Yeah. The pig. Tam says it's. Ugly, heavy, and stupid. <laughs> this is your Sturmgewehr. This is what you and I were talking about and drooling all over. Yep. It's a beautiful piece of history to be able to run, of course. Grandfather of all assault rifles. Yeah, you know what? I was just going to say, prior prior to the introduction of this platform, uh, guys were running around with bolt-action rifles and M1 Garand. To see something like this shooting an intermediate caliber, you turned every man into a fast-moving yeah. machine gun crew, essentially. It's, it's all metal, man. That's it. That's what I was talking about. Awesome. Wow, I love the way that feels. The cool. I know there aren't too many of those around. I heard about one being turned in. It was going to be scheduled for destruction, and somebody thought the same. These are these are 60 grand out here. Very sought after piece of equipment. Yeah. Again, they, they didn't make it through the war, so if I, if I could, if I could own one in Canada, I would. Check that out. That's the round right there. That's a cartridge you're firing out of that. Look look at this. It's like it's like a little mini AK-47 round. Tell me a little bit about this one. The PM-63. It's a very high rep rate of fire on this pistol. Yeah. Uh, it's fun. This this gun has a, a bolt that is is reciprocating. Yes. And they, the, this thing is affectionately known as the dentist. Oh yeah, it'll definitely smack you in the mouth yeah. if you're not uh, conscious. Not, not conscious and watching where you put your cheek. You know, I'm gonna be real careful with. That. Yes, don't but worry. what's nice is it's got the lip underneath it. I saw that. So it's going to actually cover it, but that was also what they used essentially to charge it. Yeah, that. Jam it in and actually charge it. It really, it really is a piece of Cold War history. Yes. It feels 
you're looking at it, and then what kind of round is this fire? Is this nine or is this nine millimeter Makarov? Yes. No That's what I thought. That's a lot of fun, but that's, a little, that, that's pretty frightening if you're not careful. You can you? Yeah, that way. Yeah, that, that would have been the Cold War version of a Glock 18, essentially. What a, what a trip. 1972. Ah, oh, the year I was born. I'm digging this. hey -o. Good man, I'm digging it. And that's that lip that I was talking about that actually clears the barrel. So. Yeah, and you know what? It, it, your, if your hand is down here, it would actually kind of shield you from a bit of the muzzle blast yeah. as the thing's going off, but it, it reciprocates along with the rest of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very cool unit. So this is going to be a Scar Heavy. It's running the 7.62 NATO round. Tried and true round. You can't beat it. This is a short stroke piston system made by FN. Yes, sir. Excellent weapon system. And for running a 308 round that's fully automatic, you honestly can't. Can beat her, man. Yeah, right on. She's slow, but she's quick. To right. be honest with you. All right, cool. So, right, cool. She'll have a little bit of muzzle rise to her, but she's controllable. All right, I'll do my best to hold that, it down. That short stroke will throw you off a little bit. Okay, all right. Well, then you know what? I'll see what I can do. Good. Oh, yeah. All right. You know what? I can tell already. I'm going to have to get ready for this one. Lean into her. Oh, you know what? This. You know what? That that's not for everybody. I can tell. Nope. Right? That that'll make you work. That'll put some hair on your chest. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like I'm wrestling with an angry animal. Yes. Right? And you know what? Uh, you can tell. You can tell that it's shorter. That muzzle blast really kind of. It, ro it rocked me off my feet for a second. I'm not used to that. But it's controllable. Oh, it's controllable. Oh yeah. As well, creepy as it is. This is your UMP. Fires a 45 caliber pistol cartridge made by HK. It's a German platform. Got a nice red dot on top of this. Well, now what's nice about this platform is we have semi, we have burst, and we have a full auto feature in this. So we're gonna let you get dabble in each one of these, okay? I'll pass this to the semi, be ready to go. We have a little bit more gap. You want to get all the way down. It's actually very light for, for what it's able to do. Wow, well, you know what? I'm... Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's a 45 caliber pistol cartridge. And You're it's not got... running like a conventional MP5, which is a 9mm. Yeah, it's got it's got a really slow rate of fire compared to some of the other platforms we've yes. seen. And I love that three round burst. That's cool. That is cool. I, I, I cool. enjoy the three round burst on yeah. this one. You know what? That, uh, that keeps. Yeah. She's seen some wear. It's a good use That's out cool. of this one. I mean, I'm not... You play with this one. That slow rate of fire keeps you on target. Not a bad job, kiddo. You know what? It has been an absolute pleasure, right? Excellent. Shooting with you. All right, and thank really you good. so much. You guys always provide a top flight premium full auto experience here at Battlefield Vegas. Appreciate it. And we're looking forward to coming back again next year. Excellent. Thanks for coming to see us. Thanks for coming to have fun. And again, it's always an enjoyment having you at the facility and uh, running guns with us, okay? Uh, awesome. And again, enjoy all you guys. Right? And, thank, and thank you for your service, okay. sir. Anytime. Thank you, okay? Right.